Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Conversations with Yoder's Farm. My name is Eldon Yoder and Lowell Yoder is here with me again today. It's early February, uh, this episode we're going to talk a little bit, uh, just kind of update you on what we've been up to the last number of weeks, what the weather's been like and uh, how that's affecting uh, the future as we look to it, I guess. So Lowell... What have you been up to the last number of weeks? Yeah, I was just thinking about us looking to the future, as you so eloquently put that. <laughs> Sorry, that came out a little weird, but... Well, it sounds so grand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a what a lovely thought. Let us all sit here for a few moments and enjoy the... Sounds the better view. than uh, worrying about frost on flowers and things <laughs> like that. So. Yeah. Well, um, did you ask how I was doing? I don't know if I did or not. Okay. Are you doing okay? Yeah, I think I'm doing fine. Very good. Yeah. Haven't you had a baby since we last recorded a podcast. Well, I didn't, but my wife did. Well, yeah. whatever. Yeah, we do have a have a new little girl, and she's about just over two weeks old. Yeah. And I think we brought her home from the hospital two weeks ago today. So, yeah, she's doing well uh, health-wise and everything. Yeah. Mom's doing Fairly well as well. Um, of course, there's always some challenges with with new babies in the house, especially in the sleep department. So um, <laughs> maybe you'll get back to normal. Soon. Mom, especially, but the rest yeah. of the family too is kind of adjusting to that. But yeah, hopefully, normal. We're trending towards normal. Yeah, very good. Remind me, we should uh, post a picture of her sometime and welcome yeah. her officially. To the farm staff. There you go. Family farm. There you go. All right. So what else have you been up to the last number of weeks? Well, that has sort of consumed uh, a lot of my time, especially the week that uh, she was born. But other other than that, I've managed to get a little bit of stuff done. Um, We have, yeah, obviously we've talked about it before. Greenhouses are kind of where we spend a lot of our time uh, this time of the year, so they've soaked up a good bit of attention. Uh, tomatoes continuing to to grow. Uh, we had a little dip in uh, in production in the one house. I think we basically worked through most of that, and uh, it's looking looking better. A lot of um, nice green tomatoes coming down the vine, and almost to start ripening here in the next few weeks so that'll bump our tomato production back up our early spring house is, is really rolling these nice uh warm days a little longer days mm-hmm. uh, it's that's really doing doing well we've set the first cluster of fruit and eh, they're probably close to golf ball size now is that the second or the third greenhouse the third one the big one so close. we have tomatoes in all three houses right now yeah we're, not, we're only picking it yeah. too but yeah, yeah. That is Very correct. Good. So, yeah, that one's really growing. We're hoping to be picking that one in March. So anyway, yeah, the tomato greenhouses are are doing very well, and uh, like I said, enjoying this this uh, spring lake weather. But hey, let's uh, talk about some more exciting things uh, like outside crops and so forth. No, I don't know if they're more exciting, but anyway, <laughs> they're, it feels like we've been tomato focused the last while. So let's talk about some some other things. Winter time is kind of, uh, especially this time of the year, January, February, uh, the time for meetings. We have Con- uh, yeah, it's not conferences. What are yeah, they? just meetings. meetings I, I guess. think everyone yeah. knows that farmers are a little slower in the winter time, and so they yeah. try to put these production type meetings and we try to take advantage of the ones that we feel like fit us. Yeah. Uh, I was not able to go to one that you and dad went to. Yeah. It was a couple of weeks ago. Dad and I went over to right after the baby was born. That's right. Hillsville, right? Is that the, yeah. I never can remember which town it is there. Um, but it was the pumpkin growers association. Uh, We've, we've been to it number of years in a row but it's always a good refresher to talk about um trials that have been done here in virginia in the the area with new varieties and how of pumpkins yeah and how older varieties have done even this past year or two and kind of catch up on industry news and i don't know dad was interested in a couple of more farm related 
uh, things, I guess. But. Yeah, it's a uh, from other years. Uh, it's a very practical meeting. One of the more practical ones that we go to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, lots of good growing, you know, basic growing information as well as you know, it's an ever changing industry. So they talk about that, and then they usually do a good job of talking about new. Like farm regulations yeah, that, that are was, coming down the the pike. Yeah, yeah. Is it pike or pipe? Pipe. Could be either one. Coming pike. down the turn turnpike pike. or coming down the <laughs> anyway, water pipe. So when new things come down the channel in which they come. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, like this Food Safety and Modernization Act, FISMA, mm-hmm. uh, it's, you know, going to affect farms over the next number of years. So they do a good job of keeping people up to date on that, as well as I'm not sure what other regulations they talked about. I think I that was one of the big ones. Yeah, um, yeah. Did they talk about some farm safety stuff, or that was just some growers? I think that was maybe Dad talking to some growers. Yeah. Uh, What's well, a these things are a good chance to meet people doing the same things that you're doing from yeah, other areas, exactly. And learning from them. So yeah, he was. It's always something you can learn from other po- folks who are doing what you're doing. So that's right. And I know there's a there's a strawberry one coming up in about a now month. Wait, before we leave that okay. that other one, um, one of the main reasons we go to this one is because there's always a really good lunch. So that's true. That was true again this year. But and I missed out on that one. Sorry about that. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying about the strawberry. Oh, uh, there's a a big strawberry one that's down in Virginia Beach every year, and that's in about a month. Uh, it's usually at a kind of a bad time of the year, a busy time of the year to go, but uh, it's a really good meeting, so yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to go to that one or Do not. Do you know the dates for that one right off? Yeah, it's like the it's the first Monday and Tuesday okay. in, in March. Oh, so it's a Monday, Tuesday instead of a... It's always a Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, it's not like a Friday, Saturday. Monday deal. afternoon is a field walk, and okay. it's a Tuesday all day, uh, kind of a classroom type meeting. Very good. I was just going to pull the dates up. Yeah, the 2nd and the 3rd of okay. March. Very good. And then there are another, like we had a uh, one of the wholesalers we sell to, mm-hmm. the local food hub, they stopped by to do a um, site. Kind of a forecast. Um, talk about what Last week, to. you know, yeah. so that, that happened. Uh, they have an annual meeting coming up. I'm not sure when it is over the next few weeks. Dad will probably at least go to that when we try yeah. to go go there when we can. Uh, I know there's another one. Uh, let's see, oh, there's a hemp meeting coming up, but uh, I don't know if we're <laughs> going to get to that one or not. And yeah, when would we grow hemp? We just have so much stuff going on. I guess, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I was going to say, uh, we had a walkthrough as well. Um, I don't know what I'd call it. Safety audit, which is uh, yeah, that, uh, where we actually had a uh, someone who specializes in ensuring agritourism type yeah. farms uh, walk through and uh, helped us kind of essentially. He was a he's an agent for foreign bureau, isn't that? Yeah, case? so we're we're shopping our insurance, I guess, to be frank. Well, that and we want to make sure we we have all right, our, so we. We're able to do that and kind of had his yeah. expertise uh, looking yeah. at things. And it's always something that we're keenly aware of and trying to, to yeah, yeah. improve and get, get better at sure. and, and think about. So that happens. So all these kind of things kind of fit into these times of the year. It seems like you yeah. always have time other times. So yep, yep. always try to be planning. Um, I'm thinking about some crops um you know pumpkin seeds and varieties and Mm -hmm. anyway try to be thinking ahead as you said looking into the future (laughs) right uh now you're gonna be giving me flack about that for the next uh, several weeks but that's right that's what brothers are for so other than that um as we we talked about two podcasts ago we talked about this ticking clock and at that point you know the winter had been fairly mild and we said it could kind of go either way we could start trending towards actual winter weather or things could change the other way and actually kind of trend towards spring well it's pretty obvious the last few weeks have uh, definitely trended towards spring yeah so that brings it uh, brings some concerns with it uh, I would 
think that orchard people right now, uh, especially, uh, would be quite concerned about the warm yeah. weather that we've been having. We're here at the first of February, and yeah, un, with with no winter to speak of, and then very warm uh, temperatures. Mm-hmm. We are really pushing towards spring. Which yeah. is all good and fine as long as you keep pushing towards <laughs> spring. Yeah, as but, long as you don't go backwards. Uh, yeah, and it's, have, those, have cold weather. it's those really uh, sharp cold snaps yeah. with things far advanced. You know, we're talking flowers mm-hmm. and, um, you know, flowers on fruit trees, which we don't have fruit trees, but I'm just saying, you know, those that yeah. do. Um, well, we we have some things that we can um, do to combat that, and it's just not as simple on fruit trees. To, yeah, that's to either very protect. expensive. Uh, you're talking wind machines or something, or yeah, there's it's not very viable to protect. Yeah, large acres and that's trees. that's also an issue that uh, comes with being as far north as we are. Uh, maybe a little farther south, it'd be less. Problematic, although I mean, they surely would have cold snaps in South Carolina too. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I almost think it could be worse the other way because I've seen them have true, you know, they're even more advanced than we yeah, are. And yeah. sometimes it seems like once it finally decides to warm up, when we start producing, you know, and when we're in the spring uh, and we're blooming up yeah, here yeah. Uh, maybe it decides the weather decides to stay warm but i don't there's no science behind <laughs> that i'm just yeah it's thinking. farming then, after all yeah so anyway like i said yeah we're i would say we're definitely pushing farther ahead than normal i mean we're goodness um you know i saw some there these are tiny tiny buds way down in the strawberry crowns yeah, on yeah. my earliest variety but <laughs> they're there, yeah. and uh, you know, usually you don't even see them at this point huh. in time. So we could be poised, especially which you know forecasts are saying maybe the next month, maybe on the milder side. So I could quick, I could see us quickly kind of even even late March can be uh, dangerous for these cold snaps. Oh yeah, in for sure. April, I mean, we've I had guess. some very nasty stuff like. Yeah. A week or two before we opened yeah. the pick your own patch, which, I mean, then your your the amount of crop you have at risk is very yeah. big. Yeah. So, like I said, there's there's nothing to do about it. You can't turn this clock back. <laughs> yeah. And it's just something to be aware of. And the farther advanced your crops are, and you know, kind of, I guess, yeah, earlier years are probably more stressful for. Uh, fruit growers strawberry growers because you know that they could uh, suddenly come to a screeching halt yeah yeah so and and you have a larger percentage of your crop at risk you know as yeah you, basically the more blooms and flowers you have when an event like that occurs yeah if you're at 10 percent bloom and you have problems well if you lose 10 percent of your blooms well you know you don't like it but yeah. You deal with it yeah. if you have 50 60 70 percent mm-hmm. of your crop in bloom then you're really in trouble if, if something bad happens yeah so, yeah anyway just something to think about something to yeah, worry about something definitely to something that's on our minds plan for yeah and like say if it maybe if it stays warm and you yeah don't have that nasty cold snap then then you're all good though um you know if you're Picking strawberries two months, I mean, two weeks uh, norm, earlier than normal, that can have its own challenges. Uh, yeah. People kind of think strawberries a certain time of the year. Yeah. Mother's it, Day tends yeah, to be a lot and, of people. But we have around. opened, you know, like almost the middle of April before. Yeah. So the we'll, challenges of we'll, weather. We'll know so better how, how things are looking by about May. There you so, go. Yeah. We'll have the, the perfect... Uh, we won't be looking into the future. Yeah. We'll be looking behind. Or into the present. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> yeah. We are um, working at strawberry cleaning. Um, I think we've talked about it maybe before, but we every spring we go through a... You know, they're, every winter, the strawberry plant, naturally some of the leaves kind of um, brown up and yeah. the cold and the some of the 
freezing and frost and so forth um, desiccate some of those leaves and turns them brown and so we go through a cleaning process you kind of uh, brush the plants off uh, remove some of those leaves take runners off we had a mild if you remember way back in october we had that very mild uh, stretch actually hot stretch and so some of our plants really runnered and those runners you know they they don't they just kind of brown up during the winter so it's good to get those off get the brown stuff off the plants that the dead uh, material can be a source for disease for botrytis so we go through and as many as we can we don't always get over the whole field but we prioritize the worst plants yeah so we try to get over the field clean that off it's a good time to work at any weeds that have sure. popped up through the, yep. the strawberry holes and so we've we've started that just i mean a little bit the last couple of days yep. we're way earlier than we normally start that but thinking about that advanced nature of the clock and also looking at a very wet forecast for the next 10 days we decided well we better take advantage of the weather and while we had it while yep. we had it so we did and now it's raining <laughs> It sure we'll is. Do other things for the next while, but like record podcasts. Yeah, about, yeah. Talk about the weather. Yep. We were able to do a little bit of field work too. Dad was able to. It was dry. I mean, it was actually probably as dry as it's been in a month. So we did a few things out and about that we couldn't normally do. Yep. Very good. That kind of. Uh, is a good summary of the last number of weeks, I guess. I don't know if it's a good summary, but it's a summary. It's a anyway. summary, yeah. Well, anything else we want to talk about before we wrap this one up? No, I don't think so. I don't think we really want to get into politics or anything controversial, nah. so I've pretty much done if you are. Sounds good. All right, well, thank you all for listening if you made it this far. Uh, if you're interested in subscribing, you can do that in your favorite podcast app. And head over to yodersfarm.com for everything related to the farm. And you can listen to the podcast there if you want to. So that's it for now. Find out more about us than you ever wanted to know. Yeah, no kidding. Thanks Isn't for listening. Isn't it weird how public we are for as private <laughs> as we are? We would never do this in real life. No. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for listening, and we will talk to you again on the next episode. See ya. See ya.